Say that within two months, 60 days, he wants us to be to have agreed as a country on the transfer of the remaining functions, which from the four, in the fourth schedule to the constitution are supposed to be devolved. So, uh, speaker, my brother, eh? Na wale wengine, eh? Kazi kwenu bana, eh? Francis, <laughs> Francis, duiga. Kazi itakuwa nyingi. I saw very many chief officers and I must appreciate you to have come when I'm diga. Kadiga and the others, madam, for having come to represent um, my good friend, says the governor of Embu. She's doing a great job. We all know what she is doing today. In the discussions, they're calling them the talks about talks. Yeah? Nakini hiyo nataka kuachia ruku ndiyo watajua. Staki kuzungumzia hayo sana kwa zaabu. Uenda ika, unajua hiyo ma, ma, mamu uenda ika Teresa ilaeto kuangu. So nikizungumza sana. Niko na maoni yangu lakini nikizungumza sana watu wanaeza sema bana. It will not be fair to us. Kwa hivyo, hiyo wacha ni, wa, ni waachie waendele. Wayazungumzie. Uh, it is good for people to discuss, to talk. Wacha ni watu waonge. Lakini for us, it's just to say. Uh, kama mazungumzo yataenda jia yoyote ile kama wa Kenya ile ningeoimiza kama vile ndugu yangu kidhinji alikuwa anapenda we must maintain peace whatever whatever happens even if you disagree with your brother even if you have whatever arguments tafadhalini lazima muhimize amani we cannot have a country that fights because of elections. We cannot. I am aware that they said that democracy is not the best form of government, but all the others are much worse. Yes, indeed. All the others are much worse than democracy. Because autocracy, dictatorship, military rule, all of them, Mwanaiji Hanase. So, if you disagree because of an electoral process, there's no need of engaging in violence. You should never engage in violence because of a di dispute relating to an electoral res result. There are mechanisms, mechanisms provided for in the Constitution to challenge any electoral result. But at the same time, we must be prepared to accept the decisions that are made by our courts. Nimeona watu wengine siku ngini wakisema serikali ya William Ruto that he is not obeying court orders. There is not a single one which has not been obeyed. Even when we disagree, even when we don't like those judgments, but if we obey the court orders, we have been obeying all the orders because we must promote constitutionalism in the country. Iyo diyo kuleta amani katika inchi. Kwa sababu, uchaguzi utakuja leo, utakuja kesho kutua, ukiisha, wacheni wanainchi waendele na shuguli zingine zao za kujenga inchi. We cannot be perpetually involved in politics. Na nimesikia, eh, Eh, Sami, nimesikia mwome piga, mweomba kura. This is 2023. Mweomba, lakini, anyway, lakini, wacheni, fanyeni kazi kwanza. Ama na mnangani? Fanyeni kazi kwanza. Unajua hawa wanaona? Hata usijari, wafanyie, wanaona. Na utaona, hata utashanga. Bile wadhamiminika kusema, yes, tumetosheka. Lakini wakisema hatu tashote tosheka, si kuna siku ingine. That is what we are asking every politician, every political leader, no matter your stature, no matter your history, eh? 
no matter where you come from, please respect the will of the people as reflected in the electoral results that are announced whenever an election is called. Mkuu wa sheria mimi kuna mambo ambayo lazima sasa niseme na kimombo kidogo I have to speak this in English because we have a government a government which you have to protect and it is you know we have a very serious platform a very premium platform called the National Assembly as uh, the former member of parliament has said the only institution which can be able to change laws and come up with laws which can be of monetary effect and others is the National Assembly. The Attorney General. We know the talks are happening at Bowman's of Kenya. But these talks, whatever the agenda in those talks, can be done at the National Assembly under the Senate. Because those talks are geared towards selfish interests of one person called Raido Ondinga. Whether it is elections, that is why the Attorney General, I have forwarded an amendment of Election Act 2011, Article 24 and Article 44 of the Election Act, so that we are able to automate the election process of the Republic of Kenya. By ensuring we have different definition of what a ballot paper is, we ensure we will not be using the ballot boxes to do our elections. We be scanning automatically or digitally the ballot paper which every Kenyan cast. And this can be done if we amend Election Act Article 24 or Section 24 of the Election Act and also Section 44 of the Election Act, Mr. Speak, Mr. Uh, the Attorney General of the Republic. So, this issue of negotiations, we have nothing to negotiate. The people of the Republic of Kenya made a decision on 9th of August last year, and we know who is the president. The president is none other than William Samoy. So one of the agendas in those talks, we ask the first agenda is to cut off the talks in bombers of Kenya. Kenyans have more serious issues to deal with. We have a cabinet which is working day and night to ensure the life of the people of Kenya become bearable by the, living, the, living, the cost of living coming down. That is what the government is doing on a daily basis. Kwa hivyo sisi, mkuu wa sheria, sisi tunaomba wewe kupiti ofisi yako. Ambia rais, iyo masungu mzo ambayo ikombomas, atutaki. Itupiliwe mbali. Raira Ondinga, aina maana yote hiyo mazungumzo. Raira Ondinga ndiye kiongozi ya opposition. Kasi yake ikue ni kusema yale ambaye anaona ikua mambaya ya serika. Na sisi kasi yetu ni kuendresha serika. Kama wa Kenya watamunga, watamunga mukona 2027. Pass, akue raisi. Lakini kwa sasa, tuko na raisi. Na raisi ni mmoja. Mambo ya kusumbua, kila raisi ukasumbua kipaki. Ukasumbua moi, ukasumbua huru. Sasa unataka kuzumbua ruto. Atuta itikia. Iyo tumekata. Ha, ama na munakani? Munakata iyo? Iyo munakata? Yes. Raira ambiwe, sisi watu ya mbele north. Iyo tumekata. Sisi watu ya embu kaute, iyo tumekata. Tunataka governor wetu, sisi rembarire, arundi hapa embu, afanyia watu ya embu kazi.
Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you.